we have this glass of water and we will submerge we'll submerge this stone inside the water and when we do that we we must have seen that the level of the water rises right even if you insert your finger in this in this glass of water the level of the water will rise but now if we have the same glass of water and if we now put in some salt some salt into it and we start mixing it after some time the the color of the water might change it will seem a little a little cloudy but the level of the water will not rise why is that isn't salt matter well just like just like the piece of stone it's also solid right so why isn't the level of the water rising well to answer that we'll have to zoom in so when we zoom in we see we see water molecules and i'm showing that showing that like this we have all these water molecules and there are there are some spaces in between these water molecules and the salt the salt molecules they occupy the spaces between the water molecules so when the salt dissolves it occupies the spaces in between the water molecules and the level of the water does not rise now this really shows this really shows that particles of matter have space between them all right now let's look at some more some more common daily life examples whenever there are some incense sticks burning in a room you must have felt that as soon as they burn you can start smelling the incense sticks why does that happen also if if you dissolve if you dissolve something in water like let's say if you place a, a compound like potassium permanganate it starts moving around in water or if i if i try to mix this food color in water look at how the food color starts moving inside the water finally you also must have seen dust particles dancing around whenever sunlight is coming into your room through a window again why does this happen so all of these examples they really show they really show that particles of matter they are moving they are moving continuously particles of matter are continuously moving and especially in a liquid or a gas a particle of matter will move in any random in any random direction that is why you see dust particles dancing around because they are colliding with the particles of the air and you can understand how the particles in air move just by looking at how the dust particles are moving dust particles are moving randomly because they are constantly colliding with the air particles now because the particles are continuously moving we say that they have a certain kinetic energy of their own and because they have a kinetic energy they have a certain temperature every every substance have has a temperature of its own if you increase the temperature the particles start moving faster that is their kinetic energy increases now if we think about a solid if we think about a piece of stone particles aren't really moving in this solid like they do in fluids that is gases or liquids but particles are still vibrating at their positions they are still vibrating at their positions if you zoom in that is how the particles will behave they are still vibrating if you increase the temperature they will vibrate even faster this is the reason why a potassium permanganate started moving around in water because every particle of potassium permanganate is striking a particle of water and that is helping it mix or spread throughout the body of the water the same reason why we can smell incense sticks whenever they are burning in any corner of a room now we can talk about one more thing over here and that is when potassium permanganate is mixing in this body of water let's see what's really happening let's try and zoom in so when we zoom in when we zoom in we have we have these particles of particles of water there are all these particles of water and potassium permanganate takes takes up the space between these water molecules it takes up the space between these water molecules now not just in this example even the other three examples that we saw particles of matter are mixing on their own with each other and they do this by getting into the spaces between the particles this intermixing of particles of two different types of atoms is called diffusion and it happens on its own so the particles of the incense sticks they took up the space between the air particles which then they are all continuously moving the particles of potassium permanganate they take up the space between the water molecules so we can say that diffusion is happening here all right now lastly whenever you throw water on the floor you must have seen water getting collected like this on the floor why does this happen well it turns out particles of matter they have they they really pull each other or we can say attract each other and these forces they attract they attract each other with a the force these forces are called intermolecular forces 
so that is why that is why one of the reason of a raindrop being spherical is because all the particles of water they are pulling they are pulling each other they are pulling each other and that makes the raindrop take up a spherical shape you will learn more about this in physics under the topic surface tension but every particle of matter they attract each other they have these intermolecular forces they are pulling each other with some force all right so these three are the characteristics of particles in matter they have spaces between them they are continuously moving and they attract each other